What's up everybody, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I wanna start this video by thanking you for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd be so honored if you consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to share this video and hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest videos are available, don't forget to click that notification bell to on. Today we're back with Bose and I have the all new Bose TV speaker. Now, if you did miss the video, I did a video on the Bose Solo 5, which basically this is the replacement. Now Bose did something here for us that we really were asking for. They added HDMI arc support and the ability to add a base module. Now you can add either the 500 or the 700 module using a cable and we'll take a look at that in a moment. But today we're going to unbox this product. We're going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to talk about the best way to set it up, and I'll give you my honest review as well as a sound test. I'm so happy you're here, let's get started. First thing, if you wanna run a base module, don't forget to pick up the base module connection cable. It's fairly inexpensive, I think it was only $10. If you want to run a base module, you have to get this. It will not work wirelessly. Next, if you want to use HDMI ARC, don't forget to have a good high quality HDMI cable. If you're familiar with Bose latest and greatest packaging, they follow the same format. Bose makes it fairly easy to open. You just pull these little tabs. Both sides come off. So far, very nice presentation and you can see all the accessories that it comes with. For those of you wondering, it does come with an optical cable. So basically you get an optical cable, the power cable and a small remote. All right, let's get this beauty revealed. First impression right out of the package, well built, perfect size. I noticed that it does not have a shiny top like the 300, 500, or 700, but it is a nice finish and it doesn't pick up those fingerprints. We have our Bluetooth indicator and our television sound indicator right on front. Trying to position this just perfect so you can see the speakers. We have a speaker dead center, and then we have one off to the right and left. We can get that to pick up. And you can kind of see what else is going on under this grate here. Around on the back, we have our air chamber. If we slide on over here, you can see where our power plug. This is where you would connect the base module. Here's your aux in, your optical in, and your HDMI arc. And then of course you have your service. Quick look at the bottom of the product. Again, well-built, hard plastic, should last you a very long time. Let's begin the setup process. Up top is actually my TV's one connect box. I put this here so you can see how to connect everything. We have three options of connection with the bows that you'll find here. We have HDMI arc. Now, if you choose that, you will have to provide your own HDMI cable. We have good old fashioned optical, which of course Bose provides a cable for you. And then of course we have Bluetooth. I recommend using HDMI ARC as it provides the best sound quality. Now it will not hurt if you put an optical cable and an HDMI ARC cable and hook them up at the same time. The only thing you'll have to do on your TV is to decide whether you want optical out or HDMI arc out. You also will have Bluetooth available at any time you would like. So let's go ahead and plug in our HDMI arc cable, our optical cable, and our power cable. Now as you can see, I have everything plugged in, but before I plugged in the arc, I wanted to point out some TVs do not have ARC support. As you can see, my HDMI ports 
Only one of them says ARC. If you have an older television, don't worry about it. Go ahead and use the optical. But if you are going to use ARC, remember HDMI ARC has to go to the port that says HDMI ARC. Remember, HDMI ARC support means anything that's coming through your TV, whether it's plugged into HDMI 1, 3, or 4, or you're streaming, will now come out of the Bose TV speaker. It is no different than optical in that sense. You just get better sound quality. However, with standard Dolby Digital, if you don't have ARC, it's not a big deal. You're really not going to lose out on too much. But then, as you can see, everything is set up ready to go. The next thing you want to do if you're going to connect the base module is to connect the base module cable. Plug the base module in right here. Next, go ahead and run the other end of your cable into the back of the base module. Remember, you can use the 700 or the 500 base module. On to the remote. Now, there is a few basic functions that we will need to utilize in this very simple remote. First, taking a look at it, we have our power, volume, up, down, and mute button. We have our source button at top. That would be the button you would push whether you use optical or HDMI out from your TV. We then have our Bluetooth, our base, and then our very important dialog mode. But if you plan on using your television remote, you have to set up auto wake. And the way to do that is simply grab your remote, hold down the power button, wait for it to beep, and then watch this indicator blink three times, amber, then back to white. So you would just grab it, push it. You're going to hear a beep. And as you can see, we are now ready to go for the auto wake feature. Next, you're probably going to want to turn up the bass, especially if you connect a sub. All you have to do is press bass and then press volume up. Turn it all the way up to the max and you're ready to go. And then of course, enabling dialog mode is very simple. You would simply just hit it. You can see it turns green, you know it's on. And then if you want it off, you just press it and it's off. It's a very basic remote. It does have a magnetic back to basically help you not lose this tiny little remote. On to Bluetooth connection. Now, of course, there's two ways to connect to Bluetooth, either via your television or your mobile device. Now, we're going to focus on a mobile device at this moment. It's very easy to accomplish. Grab the tablet or phone of your choice. Go ahead and grab the remote. And when you grab the remote, hold down the Bluetooth icon. Pay close attention here until it starts to pulsate. So I'm holding it down. And all of a sudden, you're going to see it start to turn blue. Now it's in Bluetooth discovery mode. Got my mobile phone here. As you can see, Bose TV speaker. Go ahead and press it. It will pair. You're going to hear it make a nice tone for you here in a second. And now you know that we are connected. So now anything that you play on your mobile device will play out of the speaker. Roughly a thousand dollars less than the 2018. So it's that easy. Let's talk product placement. Now, every room is different, but there's a few key things that I want you to keep in mind. First, for the bar, you have an air hole on the back. You do not want to cover this, and you do not want to put this against any surface, especially a wall. I like to leave roughly a foot behind. So you get about a space right there. Now, as far as the front goes, on this model, we have a dead center speaker, and then we have two speakers that basically shoot out at angles. Now, if you're sitting directly in front of it, you're perfect, but you want it to give you sound in the room surrounding. So I like to put it ear level facing the listener. Now, I'm going to run a sub 
It's going to be different whether you use the 300, 500, or 700 module, but they do give you a 15 foot cable if you purchase it. Now, I recommend if you do purchase it, in this case, putting the base module to the right or left of the sound bar and utilize a corner. So give it about, I don't know, an inch and a half of space away from the wall and set that air hole facing wherever you're sitting. This will let the room kind of ricochet that sound towards you. This will give it the best setup if you're, you know, listening to music in your living room or watching movies, but this is also very light and easily to, you know, you can move it outside if you'd like because it is a Bluetooth speaker. I was telling my wife, it's actually, you know, one of the best Bluetooth speakers you can buy if you think of it that way. And in that case, the best thing you can do if you're going to be outside at your pool, if you have, you know, any kind of walls out there is to kind of put this caddy corner and again, let that environment shoot the sound throughout wherever you guys will be listening. This is a quick size comparison compared to the SoundTouch 300. We will also look compared to the 700. As you can see, it's nice and compact, but still a beautiful build. Also wanted to give you a quick look at the size difference between the 700. As you can see, again, it's much more compact and the 700 and the SoundTouch 300 are more or less the exact same size anyway. Let's move on over to our TV and get our sound settings set. As you can see, for this portion, I'm on my Samsung QLED TV. Go ahead and hit settings and go to the sound output. Once you click sound output, you will see all devices that are available on your TV. TV speaker, HDMI arc, optical, and Bluetooth. Let's start with Bluetooth. Scroll down to Bluetooth, then grab your Bose remote like we did earlier and press the Bluetooth icon until it turns blue. Once it turns blue, go ahead and click the Bluetooth speaker list on your TV and it will go ahead and search. As soon as you see the Bose TV speaker, go ahead and click it. It's gonna pair and connect. Now it will be set as the speaker for your television. Little secret so you know which way is outputting on your TV. You can see those little vol volume icons kind of bouncing up and down and you notice it says Bose TV speaker and it has the Bluetooth icon next to it. Now let's go ahead and click the HDMI arc. In order to change it, grab your Bose remote and press the little source icon that looks like a TV. Once you do that, you see how it immediately changed. I'm gonna to switch to receiver HDMI. I'm gonna click OK. Now you see that it has switched to HDMI. Now let's do the same for optical. Go ahead and go to optical, press the source button again on your Bose remote, press enter on optical and you now are receiving sound through the optical cable. Last thing you wanna do now is you wanna back out, you wanna go down to expert settings, you wanna make sure that your sound is set to auto, but the most important thing you wanna do here is turn the audio delay down to zero. So now we have sound outputting through HDMI. Notice this is my one remote. When I turn up and down, you can see that it actually turns the volume up and down on my bar for me. And then if I hit play, back again with another video. As always, I want to start this video by thanking each of you for joining me today. If you have not yet subscribed, we have sound coming out of our bar. All right, now it's time to try the audio portion. I have to remind you, I'm extremely limited to what I'm allowed to use on YouTube for copyright reasons. So what I'm going to do to show you how great the dialogue mode is, 
I'm going to use one of my own personal YouTube videos and then to get the surround sound experience, I'm going to play an action scene that doesn't have any dialogue and I'll block out the screen. And then lastly, we will do a music test using the approved music and I will use a Bluetooth connection to do that. Also, I'm keeping the microphone 12 feet away from the speaker to try to reenact a normal living room environment. Let's get started. We are going to check the dialogue mode on the Bose speaker. I'm going to start with dialogue mode off. I have my Bose remote in hand. Remember the dialogue mode button is here and hopefully you can see down there at the, that little light in the corner. When it's white, it's off, and when it's green, it's on. Also, we are connected HDMI arc. Let's begin with dialog mode off. All right, let's quickly run through the features and the specifications. First off, we have a capacity for three jackets and three pants, deodorizing filter, heat pump drying. Now I'm gonna turn it on. Smart control through Samsung SmartThings. We will look at that further. It does have three air hangers, which are pretty cool. They blow the air right through the hanger and into your clothes. And it does come Now I'm gonna turn kit. it off. At least they threw that in, that's nice. As far as cycles go, normal cycle, quick cycle, sanitize. And on again. Dry, we have sensor dry, time dry, and room care. Now also, you can use specialty. You can Now hopefully, you can hear the substantial difference. And also, how amazing the dialogue mode is on the Bose speaker. It is one of the best, if not the number one reasons to buy this product. Now I'm going to put on an action sequence. The bar is connected via HDMI arc and the microphone will be placed at the same 12 foot distance away from the sound bar. Hopefully you can hear what I'm hearing. It does a spectacular job. It has great sound separation and is extremely impressive for the size of soundbar. All right, so now we're gonna try out the Bluetooth. Again, go ahead and hit the Bluetooth icon on your Bose remote. Please excuse the music. It's not gonna be the best. I was just trying to give you an idea and this is what YouTube gives us for non-copyright. So here we go. So there's one terrible song. Here goes another. Basically, it sounds crisp. It actually has pretty decent bass for not really having bass. It gets very loud. It definitely doesn't sound distorted. Hopefully, it's picking up good enough on the mic to get that. But all in all, it makes a very good Bluetooth speaker in addition to a sound bar. So I've used this product now for a few weeks and I wanted to give you my honest review. The first thing that all of you I'm sure are gonna wanna know is should you get this or the Solo? Now the Solo is likely gonna be cheaper because now it's outdated, right? 
And I will say absolutely yes. And here's why. First, the dialogue mode on this new Bose TV speaker is the best dialogue mode I have heard yet on a soundbar. And that is one of the main reasons why these size bars are sold. It is absolutely outstanding. Second, this has a great array of uses. What I mean by that is, so now we have a small budget-friendly soundbar that is great for an apartment or a small home, an RV, or you know maybe a dorm, whatever it might be, that you can add a sub, and now you have bass, and it really changes the experience into a more of a surround sound experience. In addition to that, I can see this being a very popular PC um, speaker system. It sounds outstanding for gaming on your PC, and it's small, light, and it's easy to, you know, put with your PC. So there's so many different uses for this product. Now, again, the Bose Solo is a great product. It sounds great, but this one lets you add the sub, and this one also, of course, looks better because it now has the new Sound Touch look. You got that beautiful, you know, it looks like a little mini version of the Sound Touch 700. So it's a great product, it's a great sounding product, and it's definitely worth the extra cost based off of just dialogue mode, how much better it sounds, and then of course the option to add the bass module. The next thing that I really like about this speaker is that it's so light and portable. If you're in the market and you're gonna buy a Bluetooth speaker, and let's just say you don't really care about having to plug it in, this makes a great multi-use device. You can easily take this out to the pool, plug it into the wall, have a great sounding, you know, party speaker outside, bring it right back in, hook it right back up to your TV, and boom, now you have a sound bar. We have used it in all different ways. Um, at nighttime, I like in my room, of course, I don't want to wake everyone up. And dialogue always is just hard for me to hear for whatever reason, I often use headphones. And I'm telling you, I was so stunned at how great the dialogue mode sounded on this. It cuts out everything just enough to where you're still getting a great experience, but you can hear everything they're saying without waking up the whole house. I have to say this is a definitely great product that Bose made. Now, of course, they don't normally come out with new bars every year. That's one thing I actually like about Bose, but this was needed to be done. The enhanced look, the base module, and then HDMI arc, you can argue that, you know, something that's not using Dolby Atmos or even Dolby 5.1 doesn't even need arc support, but it is a nice thing to have. And of course, it is always going to be better quality. Now, if you don't have that, the optical, again, will give you a great sound. But this is for anyone that has maybe you're on a budget and you need a nice system and maybe you want to add a sub at a later time. Or maybe you already own an extra sub or you want to just use the one from your SoundTouch 300, your 500 or your Bose 700. This speaker is a great all around speaker that's well built. It's easy to put up. It's easy to set up and you can use it for just about everything from music to surround sound. And again, I will give it a nine out of 10 and say this is a definite check out if you're in the market for a budget friendly soundbar. Well, that pretty much wraps up the review on the all new Bose TV speaker. I would love to hear your feedback on this product in the comments section if you decide to buy it. I'd love to hear whether or not you like the product and what you think about it. As always, I'd like to slow things down for a moment and remind you life is so short. Don't forget to love your family, love your neighbors, take care of each other, go out today and do a small act of kindness for someone. It's amazing how a small act of kindness can go such a long way. The world is a mess right now and the only people that can change it is you and I. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I invite you to subscribe one last time. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And of course, if I've missed anything about this product, reach me in the comment section. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at JBTechFanatic. Look, I can't wait to talk to you in the comments section and see you in the next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic and I'm out. Peace.